All right, we're going to open up with a uh, shot of the dirty workbench here because I have a bad habit of uh, getting tools and stuff out and then moving on to the next project and not cleaning up until I get a big mess. All right, yeah, it's 2015. We're in January. It is uh, pretty darn cold out, so we're in the shop. What I've got here is a D... J.I. Phantom 3 Standard. Alright. And the reason why I title this video is as possibly the dumbest is because this is my first real drone. I've been flying airplanes, FPV, all that good stuff, but I've avoided the drones. I got uh, a couple of little mini drones that I thought I would fly around in the house. But with those little tiny batteries, you know, I'm saying the mini, they're actually micro, but those little tiny batteries and, uh, you know, that it only lasts like three or four minutes, man, I just, I just get bored with that. So, uh, DJI dropped the price on these bad boys and, uh, I came across the deal to pick one up. So this is what we got. We're going to unbox it. Uh, the box not too good of a shape looks like uh, got slid or drug around quite a bit so hopefully everything's okay let me grab something to unbox this here with cut this tape bear with me here guys oh yeah condor Matt Graham edition Survival knife. Right. Trusty cut and tool. Lift this bad boy up, see what we get. Alright. First thing you see is this here. Read and understand. All the instructions in the manual. Let's open it up, see what we got. Uh-oh, cutting tool. Smallest thing I could find. All right, we get, wow. Like decals after decals. I mean, we got pink, we got blue, we got orange. Lots of decals. Whoa. There we go. That's it for that. Got our book. Got our safety guidelines and disclaimer. Good news is the book's not too big. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad at all. Okay. Again, never set one up. So uh, let's pull the controller out here. All right, this is DJI's proprietary controller. Um, I think this is your camera up and down. This little thing here is to hold your cell phone. You can adjust it, you know, a bunch of different ways. Your antenna, and then, uh, you know, to set it down. You know, lanyard uh, spot there. Uh, something kind of interesting about DJI is their drones have like a middle setting to where it'll just hover. Like a lot of us are used to having to, you know, on the micros and things without very sophisticated uh, flight controllers, you have to use your throttle to to make it hover, you know, and if you let go, it'll drop to the ground. Well, this thing will just sit there and hover. Uh, left, right, forward, backwards, and then y'all. A lot like the plane, really, um, and those controls. Couple switches, I have no idea what they are. I know there's a lot of different uh, settings on these. Um, 
on the flight controller where you can, you know, automatic return to home, GPS uh, functions, things like that. Um, and you can also turn all that stuff off. All right, let's get the copter out here. There's the main rig. <laughs> this is a kind of cool. A bag full of props. That's kind of cool. Nice that they gave you a little bag. Alright, receipt. Accessories. Let's see what this is. Oh, it looks like different kind of mounts, uh, some vibration dampeners for the gimbal. Kind of a different clamp here. Okay, that's what's in that box. This box. Ooh. USB cord. Power cord for the included charger. stickers that say you need to match up the nut color with the motor axis color so some of them are silver some of them are black because you have you know different pitch props that go on uh, opposite sides here. Your gimbal has some kind of a little shipping piece on it that uh, keeps it from getting damaged. Can't figure out how to remove this. off like so and then you got a little cover here which that appears to stay on or is that your no, that's your lens cover I think that's what that looks like There's a spot for a micro SD card, which they do include. And that is a 8 gig. So that's nice. And they also include a battery. Once you just squeeze here. These batteries are kind of strange. They're nice, but they're strange because 
they're already you know all enclosed in their own packaging you can't just go out and buy any random battery and stick it in there unless you wanted to redo a bunch of things which would most doubtably uh, void your warranty 4480 milliamps 15.2 volts lipo I've heard you get 20 to 25 minutes of flight time out of these and I'll tell you what that's pretty good because my planes aren't even getting that Watches. All right, that's it for the unboxing. Hope you enjoyed. This may very well be the dumbest Phantom video you ever seen, because you might know more about it than I do. Next up, we'll do a setup. All right, thank you.